think what I have going from bar nine up until bar 33 uh, is sufficient enough for me to just kind of loop this. From there, I can start figuring out where I want to bring things in and out, or if I have, you know, an acapella, say a project pad acapella, I can start figuring out where I want to lay this on the beat. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete everything after bar 33. I'm going to highlight everything from bar 33 to bar 9. And again, using the duplicate feature, oh shit, I almost forgot you. I'm going to hold shift, highlight that as well. All right, so now I'm just going to duplicate this. Okay, and let's duplicate it a few more times so we got about three minutes worth of stuff to work with. All right, cool. So now I got a pattern that starts with just the drums and then my little weird sound comes in here, okay? Oh, yeah, I forgot I got my bass. That's not the bass. See, that's what happens when you don't label your damn tracks. <laughs> section here comes up, okay, this is our party synth, this is the low deep one, anytime this part comes up, I want my bass sound to be muted, okay, so we're going to automate this, what we can do is, uh, well first I should point out, in your arrangement screen, on every track that you have, when you see this red line, that's your automation lane, okay, whenever this is automating, you can see by looking over here, so this top box is showing us like the more broad areas, uh, we have the mixer, uh, any effects that you have will be listed right here. Once you select an area, this bottom box is going to show you everything in that area that you can automate. So right now we're worried about a speaker on, okay? That's our mutes, basically. So with that selected, I'm going to go up here and click on this pencil, which is going to enable draw mode. And then that way, when I click in here, I can take this red line, and it's just going to snap to my grid. And now... This bass sound is going to come out just for that four bar or eight bar section. Okay. Now you notice when I did that, now there's a red dot right here on track ten, telling me that I've automated something. Okay. So let's play this from the top, and you'll see how this works. <laughs> trigger this stuff, but also use the launch pad in really unique ways that it wasn't intended for, you know. Uh, I spent a lot of time talking about the, uh, the, the light feedback, because that was one thing that always really, like, kind of puzzled me initially, you know. I wanted to get more specific light feedback when I was playing it, and I've learned a bunch of different stuff and just kind of wanted to share it with you guys. Um, so, yeah, so I'll go back to that in a second, because there's one more thing I want to show you. But first, this for our homie right here, Project Pat. Again, I haven't heard this acapella. It doesn't even look like it's an acapella right here. Oh, okay. So let's play this and see what this was talking about. Ballers, we be on some twanky twankies. Player haters get found stanky stanky. Cheap and fat blood, so that danky danky. Big diamond rings on our panky panky. Ballers, we be on some. Yeah, Project Pat, I'm telling you. Good educator. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> on a panky panky. All right, now, 
Another thing I should point out, I've never heard the original song, okay? I have no idea how these lyrics fall in the beat. Now, one thing that's really useful, especially when you're dealing with a hip hop acapella or any sort of pop vocal or anything that has a chorus that repeats often, um, you can use the choruses to your advantage, you know? You can use uh, a certain two bar phrase where you know a certain word falls on the one or you think it should sound like this, those two bars should sound like that. And you can use that as a way to kind of fix the whole acapella, all right? So let's let's try and see if we can get this on beat. I'm gonna turn on my metronome. Ballers! Ballers! Uh, let's see, try this over here. Ballers, we be on some twanky twankies. Player haters get found, stanky, stanky. This is hilarious. All right, I have no idea what this tempo is like. So I'm just gonna set the one right here on this word ballers, okay? It's warped right now. Uh, again, when you bring in uh, any audio, Ableton creates these transient markers or these peaks. This is really helpful when you're dealing with an acapella because you can find the beginning of a syllable. All right. So I want to highlight this transient marker here on the beginning of balls. And I'm right click. I'm right click again. There we go. And we're going to set one 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 here, which is going to put that there. Okay. Ballers, we be on some twanky twankies. Player haters get found, stanky stanky. Now, I can almost guarantee you the whole like scheme that he's doing right here should actually fall on the beat. It should be a pattern that repeats throughout the first like four bars or something, okay? So, Ballers, we be on some twanky twankies. Player haters get found, stanky, stanky. Cheap and fat nuts of that danky, danky. Big diamond brains on our panky, panky. David, you came just in time, man. <laughs> all right. So, all right, he said some wanky, wanky kind of rhyme. Four times, right? At this point, that should be four bars of the beginning of the verse, okay? And again, I'm just figuring in my head. I've heard enough rap music. I can get an idea of the pattern and whatnot. Ideally, that whatever the fuck you would say to these first four bars should be the first four bars. If I can get that to fall on beat, the rest of the acapella should be on beat, okay? Again, when you're bringing in vocals from hip-hop stuff, pop dance stuff, anything that's been made in the past, like, 20 years, it's pretty much all been recorded to a metronome, okay? So unless the source material was like a warped piece of vinyl, the tempo really shouldn't drift, okay? If you're bringing in, you know, an acapella from a, from a live recording or something like that, that's totally different. But when you're dealing with rap lyrics, uh, you know, more pop kind of stuff, you should be able to establish one tempo. So that's what we're going to try and do, all right? Ballers, we be on some twanky twankies. Player haters get found, stanky, stanky. Cheap and fat nuts of that danky, danky. Big diamond rings on our panky, panky. Ballers, we be on some twanky twankies. Player haters get found, stanky, stanky. Cheap and fat nuts of that danky, danky. Big diamond rings on our panky, panky. Ah, shit. All right. Now, look. That took me all of, like... 30 seconds with me explaining the whole process to you, okay? When you're dealing with acapellas, this is the biggest thing I get asked about with uh, my private lessons and whatnot. The most important thing is to find something that easily, you know, that repeats, something that creates a, a very recognizable pattern um, where you can just get the one bar, those two bars on beat, okay? Once you get that on beat, getting the rest of the acapella to line up should just be a matter of just like gradually nudging it as you're playing through it, okay? At this point, this should be pretty close to R&B. One more thing I'm going to tell you when you're working on acapellas. Again, when you're dealing with hip-hop, pop music, more, you know, modern stuff. <coughs> once you get the tempo close, okay, we have one warp marker at the beginning where we established our one, okay, when we said set one, one, uh, one here, we put our warp marker right here, okay. From this point on, we've established a tempo of whatever this is, 187.86. So that's what it thinks the tempo of this acapella is. More often than not, the tempo is not really going to be 187 point something, something, something. It's going to be a whole number or it's going to be something point five. Okay? Generally, people don't make music with a tempo like this. Sometimes they do, but more often than not, it's going to be a, a whole number. Okay? So I'm going to play this over the beat that we got, and I'm going to skip around. And if it starts to drift, I'm just going to type in 188 here. Okay? But it should be pretty close. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Just look up. 
sometimes I've had it the truth in a way, but I don't. <laughs> anyway, sorry. So what I did is, as the verse came in, I noticed that it was a little bit off, okay? And I'm using my transient markers in my grid as a guide, okay? Certain words should be falling right on the beat. This is not a very complex pattern. This is not like the most scientific rapper in the world. It should be pretty easy. <laughs> 